Oh, didn't they come in? Then jump. Now, all these banging about in here, I can't hear any out there. Uh, can I help you unload the cart? I've done it. Have you? I didn't hear you. I shouted six times. I expect you was too busy. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I was, I was upstairs, I expect, scrubbing the landing. There's a lot of work to be done in this house. It's all go. <laughs> You've been hard at it, Vernon, have you? Oh, yes, never stopped. All day. Ever since you left this morning, I haven't been off my feet all day. Telling lies the kind, aren't we? Hi? Huh? What are you talking about? Red up that cushion in. You jumped up when you heard me coming. You've been kipping again. I ain't I've been working. Well, how's that cushion up then? Come on, how's that cushion up? The, the cat's been sitting on it. We ain't got a cat. The one from next door. Always comes in for a kip. Keeps me company. I get very lonely in here all day by myself. No one to talk to, just me and the cat. Oh, you poor old devil. <laughs> All alone, just you and a cat from next door. Which, incidentally, it must be an enormous great thing. <laughs> about this side. What are you talking about? That chair's are all the way up, mate. <laughs> well, you know a cat that size, don't let's have him laying about wasting his time in the house. Let's get him out with a cart in between the shops. <laughs> I'm trying to kick so what? Probably little Sherlock Holmes you are, aren't you? Wonder you ain't got your fingerprint powder out to see what's out of your cocktail cabinet. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am. I had a brandy. I didn't feel well. So my heart started jumping again. I think I fainted, actually. I had a blank. There's two minutes I can't account for. Oh, well, that's two empty brandy bottles here. I can't account for them either. Unless that huge cat from next door had them. Uh... Don't persecute me. You're always on that. Me picking on me, accusing me, making me life a misery. You enjoy it, don't you? You enjoy it. You make a good guard in one of them camps with your jackboots on strutting about. <laughs> we had a sergeant in the 1418 war like that. He ended up with a bullet in the back of his nut and it wasn't the Germans either, so watch it. Look, these drunken rambling threats have no effect upon me whatsoever. The facts speak for themselves. A warm chair and two empty brandy bottles adds up to one thing. You are a drunken lazy old git. Don't you call me no <laughs> I never thought I'd live to see the day when my own flesh and blood would talk to me in such a fashion. You won't get that up and get my tea. You treat me like dirt, don't you? I might as well be dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get that drunken breath in the kitchen. And don't breathe on the gas ring when you light it, otherwise you'll go up in flames. <laughs> no, I haven't got much time. I've got to get washed and dressed by seven o'clock. What's all the rush? I've got company and guests coming. Guests? You never told me nothing about no guests. Well, I'm telling you now, aren't I? Well, I think it's a bit of a liberty. I think it should have asked me whether I mind. I'm not the lodger, you know. This is my house. It might not be convenient. I might have planned to me out. I might have guests coming round. Have you? No. Then what are you talking about? I'm talking about being taken for granted, making a convenience of my house. You should have asked me. You should have asked me if I mind. All right. Father. Have you any objections to me inviting a few friends round here tonight? Yes, I have. Well, hard luck, because they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, who are they then? I'd like to know who's coming to my house. I don't want any anybody disrespectable. This is a respectable house. What's that? You keep your feeling hands off that. That's for more good. Oh, pickled onions. Oh. <laughs> Olives. Gherkin. All right, I can read. I know what I brought. Listen, an onion. No. Ah, what's that? Cheese. Oh, good. I'll knock up a wench's rabbit. You keep your hands off that. That's for my guests. I'm having a wine and cheese party. What about me? I'm hungry. I've had nothing to eat all day. That's your fault, isn't it? No, it's not my fault. It's Tuesday. I did not anything to eat all day. It's Tuesday. I was looking forward to me fish and chips. You always bring back fish and chips on a Tuesday. Oh, of course, eh? Hey. Will you get off my back, Dad, please? Here's yes. a packet of crisps. Go on, eat them and shut up. Go on, sit down in the corner. Keep quiet. That'll keep me alive, won't it? Take it a crisp. Well, that's all you're getting. Now, eat them and shut up. Our man like me needs his nourishment, not just a bag of crisps. 
Uh, no salt in them either. I'm all skin and bone as it is. If the welfare officer ever heard about you, me, you'd be in dead trouble, you would. <laughs> I'd have the meals on wheels around here. <laughs> I'd be a disgrace for you. Send you to prison, I shouldn't wonder. Couldn't even be bothered looking after his old dad. Strangers, yes. Come in. Have some cheese, onions, wine. Not his poor old father, though. Here, here's a packet of crisps. Eat them and shut up. <laughs> That's nice. It's very nice. Bit of cheese wouldn't harm you, would it? You've got plenty there. Oh, you want some cheese, dear? You want some cheese, dear? Eat that! Oh, my God, what's that? That camembert, nice running camembert. Stay away, it's bad. It's not bad, it's not right. Dear, it rotten, stupid, foreign cheese. What is it, Doctor? There's nothing wrong with a perfectly good cheese. Now eat it, now. Stay away, get out of here. You want a cheese, I'm going to eat it. Open your mouth. Stay away, get out of here. Don't say I didn't offer it to you. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a very choice piece of camembert. Oh, but poison, Jeff. I wouldn't expect a coarse palate like yours to appreciate the delicacy of a prime camembert. Delicacy? That's a thing my friends will like, that. Huh? No. What wine shall I choose to go with it? Something full-bodied, I fancy, to bring out a full flavour of the cheese. Oh, I've got a 1961 Bojolli Superior. Oh. A Masson. Ordinaire. 1959. Oh, dear. It is a problem, isn't it? Oh, you, you're a man of the world. Oh, you was four years in France. What, what, what do you suggest to go with the cheese? What about a 1939 gas mask? <laughs> oh, very droll. Ha, 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 ha. Go on, get a tea, mate. The cow's boiling its guts up. Make a decent cup. I'll give you a cream cracker and a piece of cheddar. An onion? Yes, all right. What do I'll be just to bed early. Oh. I forgot I had that. Chamboli Musigny, 1955. <laughs> I was nearly half a bottle there. Oh, very pleasant. <laughs> Without being presumptuous. I really must get some more, do I? Hey, Dad, where do we get a Chamboli Musigny from? Get what? Where we get a Chamboli Musigny? And ain't drugs, is it? No, that's a good one. That's the real stuff. The waiter in that French restaurant. That's one of my contacts, that is. How much does he charge for it? Well, it all depends on what the customer leaves in the bottle. Three and six, he charged me for that lot. That's not bad, is it? Half a bottle of Chamboli, three and a tanner. And it ain't gone off. I shall serve that. Here's your tea. You may have a cream cracker and a piece of cheese. <coughs> Don't bite it! Cut it! There's a cheese knife there. Oh, honestly, Dad, has never occurred to you that in my book, Fever, I've had bits of cheese with teeth marks all over it. <laughs> Not much there, is there? Can I be that as well? No, perhaps. If you behave yourself, I might let you have some when we all eat later All on. right. Well, don't blame me if my belly rumbles all night long. <laughs> Oh, that's the paper napkin. Oh, God, who's coming? Princess Margaret? <laughs> Dad, it's not often I have friends round for a social evening. Try to understand. Oh. What's that? What does it look like? It's a green base cloth. I can see it's a green base cloth. I'm blind. What's it for? I'm going to put it on the table. Well, I didn't think he was going to make yourself a dress. Well, if you knew what it was for, you waited till time after still. Well, what are you putting it on the table for? What's wrong with the oil cloth? Because it is neither customary nor advisable to play cards on an oil cloth. Otherwise, when you deal the cards, they go shooting off the table. And it tends to spoil the game, having to scrub around a four before each hand. All right? Card? Playing cards? Yes, that is the object of tonight's soiree. I'm having a card school. In here? You're not having cards in here. I'm not having it. Your mother ever allowed it, and neither will I need you. The spawn of the devil. 
That's what she said they were. Fifty-two soldiers in Satan's army. That's what they are. And I ain't having them in here. You ain't never seen me playing cards. See that? It's a pack of cards. That's right. A pack of cards. Unopened. Thirty years I've had these, and I've resisted the temptation all that time. The day before she died, your mother made me swear on this unopened pack of cards and never to play cards again as long as I lived. Promise me, Albert, she said, that you'll never play cards again as long as you live. And just because she's gone, I ain't gone back on me word. Now you talk a lot of old cobblers at times. <laughs> cobblers who speak in the wishes of a good woman. Happy families in Lexington is all right. She didn't mind them. You can play them if you like. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I can't ask a bunch of fully grown men around here to play happy families. Why not? Because these is real card players, Dad. They don't mess about. They're coming over here to play poker. Poker? Gambling? Yes, for gambling. <laughs> what? With money? No! Milk bottle top. <laughs> Money, what do you usually gamble with? Well, I'm not having that in this house. That's one thing I will not tolerate gambling. It's a sin. And the wages of sin is death. Oh, God, who is that? Get a tambourine, sir. Will you come to the mission? Will you come? Oh, <laughs> a free cup of tea, hand the bar. Hallelujah. That's right. Go on. Add to the list. That's another one entered in the ledger to be to be levelled against you when you're standing outside the gates waiting to get in. Hallelujah! <laughs> I say, sorry, mate. No room in here for the lots of you. Get down below to the fire and the brimstone and the worms that eat you up from the inside. Hallelujah! And the <laughs> serpents and the demons and the devils that tempt Kills you all eternity. Unless you repent now! <laughs> you ought to be on that program with Malcolm Muggeridge. <laughs> I believe next week Owl Steptoe, Albert Steptoe, and all his family, a raving bunch of lunatics. <laughs> uh, you laugh the other side of your face when you get down there in among the furnaces and the molting lather. And the screams of the millions of tortured souls. And there, in the middle of it all. You! Checking your early bonds and your fucking. <laughs> <your bones. laughs> Different. Half it different. Well, your mother never said nothing about football moons and any bombs. Only because they come out after she died. Honestly, you twist everything to suit yourself, don't you? That is gambling, isn't it, huh? huh? Well, all I know is your mother made herself quite clear about cards. And she'd turn in your grave if she wasn't knew you was playing poker for money. Now, don't keep on about my mum. The only reason she was against cards is because you always lost. I bet she never got out keeping half the time. You never went without food. I didn't get rickets through overeating, did I? <laughs> well, everybody was hungry. There was a slump on. Uh, we never recovered from it in this house. <laughs> so I'm not one to reproach you for the past. Let's forget all about it. I and mean, don't try to run my life for me. If I want to play cards, I'm going to play cards. And if you don't want to watch, you can retire to your bedroom and pray for me. Yeah. Do you know these people are coming? Yes, I do. Harry Wilson, he's a cousin... And a he's been in prison! Well, of course, he's been in prison, so what? You're mad. Who are the others? Well, they're friends of mine. Well, who? You don't know them. I'll make many of you case. Oh, uh, right lot of lie about getting there. What do they do for a living? Oh, Rex, he's on the snow clearing. That's a nice steady job. <laughs> Martin's on the national assistant. You want your head seen to. Look! I know what I'm doing. I'm not a child. I have played before, you know. I must have thought it was her birthday meeting you. Look, I do know what I am doing. I have played before. It's not the first time. You talk as if I'm going to lose every hand. Well, even if you win every hand, you're not going to get much out of that lot, are you? A jailbird, a blog on the dole, and a snow clearer. All right. <laughs> that is enough. Have you played with them before? Yes, once. How much did you win? How did you know I won? The oldest trick in the world. Meet a mug, let him win a few bob, give him the come on, and the next time, take him to the cleaners. Oh, that is enough. 
Look, I don't get many mates round here, thanks to you. These lads is good company. Oh, I thought I ain't got jobs. They're very nice and very generous, and that's all that counts with me. And look, when they come here tonight, you behave yourself. Don't you go around muttering things and putting the mockers on it. I mean, if you can't keep a civil tongue in your head, go to bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me introduce you to my father, Dad. This is George. How do you do? <laughs> uh, and this is Martin. Mr. Steptoe, this is a pleasure. I've been looking forward to meeting you. I've heard so much about you from your son. <laughs> <laughs> this is Rex. Hello there, eh? <laughs> That's swab. Let's go and have a drink. Oh, yeah. We were just remarking as we came across the yard, Mr. Stepto, what a very nice place you have here. Yeah. Were you? Yeah. It's Georgian, isn't it? Is it? Oh, yes, I should think so. It's either Georgian or Gothic or something Is like it? that. <laughs> Give it a rest, Martin. He's always talking about architecture, he is. Is he? You must forgive me, Mr. Stepto. I'm very interested in buildings. I've not taken it up. My mother always intended I should have been an architect. You should have been. You wouldn't be on the door, would you? <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, well, that's only temporary, you know, in between jobs. Yes, I'm very interested in houses. So am I, public houses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the couple of cheers. Uh, <laughs> Is red wine all right? Some oh, bully yeah, muzzling me. I do sit down, make yourselves comfortable. Ah, oh, oh, wine, the no. juice of the grape. As the poet says, a day without wine is a day without sun. Eh? Indeed, indeed. indeed. Oh, very good, Harold. Yeah. Well, here's to you, Mr. Se oh, dear, your father doesn't appear to have a drink, Carol. Yeah, we, we haven't got enough glasses. Oh, well, then, please have mine. I mean, we can't have a drink without the end of the hour, so... <laughs> no, he don't drink. Very wise, very wise. A sober man is a vigilant man, eh? <laughs> eh? <laughs> yes. Well, anyway, here's to you, Harold. Mm. Cheers, here's to a pleasant evening, and may the best man win, yeah, eh? Best man, may yes. the best man win. Well, then, shall we begin? Uh, that is, if you will excuse us, sir. He's the one to watch. Old Oily. The quad. Smooth and an horse's ear, old he is. I bet he's a good shuffler. Are you ready, then, Harold? Yes, right. Now then, Harold, you're going to give us a chance to get that ten pounds that you want. Yeah, well, 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 yeah. yeah, what about raising the stakes a bit from last time? Yeah. Make it a bit more interesting, right. eh? Oh, no, no. Oh, no, I'm against that. Oh, I oh. think a penny maximum is quite enough. Yeah. No, it's a friendly game. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you lose friends that way. Oh, it won't hurt. Just raise it a bit. Yeah. Give it a bit more excitement. No, 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 I am against it. I really am. What are you afraid of? Losing a bit of money, oh, eh? Well, eh? no, it's not that, but we are guessing the house, oh, you know. Harold doesn't mind, do you, Harold? You don't want to keep it at a penny maximum, do you? Wow. <laughs> it's not <laughs> much, <laughs> is it? <laughs> well, it is up to you, Harold. I mean, you are the house. Do you want to raise the stakes? Yeah, yeah, why not? All right, then. Five shillings minimum. Double every rate. <laughs> First jack to deal. My dear. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right then. Five card draw jacks to open. Draw three. I'll open for five, Bob. I'll see that. I'll stack. And up five shillings. Make that a foul. I'll see that. And up. Two pounds. And I'll see that. So will I. How many cards, Harold? Two, please. Two. Three, please, Marty. Three. How many cards is you having? Uh, 
None. Half lady. Uh, uh, don't think any knows of Miss Bluffing. He always does. Uh, <laughs> four pounds to play. I thought you said he was bluffing. The quad, uh, <laughs> You're four pounds. And up. Uh, four pounds. Too much for me. <clears throat> oh, ho. We think I smell a little full house. Eh? Hey? In which case, you're four. And up eight. Hey! I thought you was on national assistance. <laughs> oh, would you I'd chuck it in and hand a cheese around? He can't chuck it in now if he's got a good hand. No, he's got a good hand. His money down the drain. I still reckon he's bluffing. <laughs> you got out quick, didn't you? I didn't have anything. <laughs> uh, Martin, how much do I have to put in to see you? Eight pounds exactly. I'll see you. I got a flush. Full house. A running flash. <laughs> running flash? On the trot. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Doesn't know. May I? <laughs> Excuse me. Not taking candy off a kid. So much for the twenty quid they got off, you got off them. Beginners like Mr. Steptoe, yeah. the night is yet young. Plenty of time for it to go the other way. Your deal, Errol. Would you pass the cheese and biscuit? <laughs> Oh, Jack Stroke. Cheer up, Errol. This one's yours. No, Tom, he ain't won one all night. Yes, he has been unlucky, hasn't yeah. he? He has, yes. Oh, I haven't seen a bloke so unlucky. He's had such good hands. Beautiful Never mind hands. this time, eh? <laughs> all open. <laughs> Some supper. Stack, stack, stack. <laughs> Pick it up, Errol. Pick what up? I'll just put that down. I've got four aces. Four aces. Oh, oh dear. Isn't that unlucky? Oh, yeah. Four aces and what? nobody oh, with them. that real. Oh, oh, four aces. Yeah. Never you mind, Harold. Your luck has changed. Yeah. At least you've one hand. That's the important thing. <laughs> you've broken the spell. Yes, I've seen that happen before. There you are. Uh, now, you, Taylor and Martin, I always box them. All right, then, same again. Yes, I've seen a bloke losing at this time of night and finish up cleaning everybody out. What's the time? I really must be going. <laughs> up to you, Arrow. Oh, me? Uh, I, I might as well open. Bob. I have nothing here, even if I take five cards. Uh, no, me, stack. Oh, play with the old. How many cards do you want? Oh, I'll play these. <laughs> oh, dear, that does sound ominous, doesn't it? <laughs> A dealer takes one. Up to you, Harold. Twelve and threepen. <laughs> Oh, dear. Is that all you've got left, Harold? Oh, dear, now that is distressing, isn't it? I mean, accepting all his hospitality and <laughs> taking all his money, too. Now, really is distressing, that is. Well, in that case, uh, I'd better see you. Twelve. And threepence. What have you got, Harold? Four sevens, that's all. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, what? <laughs> I am terribly sorry. Four eight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's me. It's crabbed up. Oh, gee. Well, you step yeah, yeah, yeah. So early, too. Well, that's early to bed yeah. and early to rise. I think we'd better be I going. I don't go yet. Say, have a drink. Well, I might be able to stay for one, eh, lad? Ah, oh, that's the spirit. Hey, yeah, run down to the pub and get some beer. I ain't got any money. Oh, here's a quid. Get, take the jug and get some bitter. <laughs> How about a quick hand just to pass the time? Oh, no, 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 come on, I like to break off. He won't let me down no, a well, if he won't let you, I don't think we ought to. No, really, no, no. he won't. No, we get a chance for a quick hand before no, he comes back. I don't back. really think so, Mr. Stubble, because you see, we, we play for rather high stakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, 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 it. Uh, will this be uh, high enough? <laughs> well, 
in that case, I think we might stretch a point yeah. like that. I think so. You don't mind if I uh, play with a new packed car, yes, uh, well. Sentimental reasons, you see. <laughs> My wife gave me these 30 years ago, just before she died, and they're still unopened. I'd like to think that the first game I've played since she passed on was with her cards. You haven't played cards for 30 years. He won't let me. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, I think we might raise yeah, 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 no, no, right. right. Hang on, look at me glasses. I can't see without me glasses. I might make some mistakes. In there. You'll, uh, you'll have to be patient with an old man. Now then. Uh, how do you play this game? <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late, lads, but a bottle of jumpers crowded as yeah. usual. Nobody's serving me. Good night, Harold. But, 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 I've, I've, got, I've got the booze. No, I don't think there's any point in our staying any longer, thank you. Particularly as now we'll have to be walking home. Good night. <laughs> hey, what? Hey, what? Hello, Sam. Where did you get all that money? Yeah, put that in your pocket and don't play cards again. You've been playing cards after what you said to me. Well, I wasn't going to let them get away with 30 nickel of your money. 68 quid, I bet they don't come round again in a hurry. You win all this off them, they're very good card players. They aren't. They was cheating, they was tucking you up. They were? Yes, they were. Old Ollie, I was watching him, he was dealing off the bottom. He was working the old three-finger drag with his thumb on the top, the oldest trick in the business. Well, you knew it was cheating, why didn't you tell me? There wouldn't be any point. That way we've only got our money back. This way we got theirs as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, you never prove anything. I still don't understand. How did you win all this if they was cheating? I thought you were supposed to be no good at cards. Well, I'm not. I just used me own pack. Take a look through them. <laughs> Six of diamonds. <laughs> the eye of clubs. <laughs> the king of spades. <laughs> You crafty old devil! Why you think of me like that? <laughs> Those who live by the sword. Stop perish by the sword. <laughs> Never play cards with someone you don't know. Thank you, game. Not with you. <laughs> I'll give you game out and brag. Well, take your glasses off, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Amy.